As dead bodies lay strewn on the ground, the police were given bayonets and ordered to step and to kill the already wounded. And as more blood flowed, the wailing of ambulance sirens soon filled the air. Survivor of the Sharpville massacre, Mr. Ike Makete, recollects the harrowing events of that fateful day. When PAC announced that uh, there's going to be a march on the 21st, mm. we started on, on the 20th, trying to tell people tomorrow we are not going to work. Mm. Every man must go to the police station and hand himself over. Because what Sobuka said, he said, every man should leave his pass at home and go out to the nearest police station to hand himself over that. Now arrest me, I don't have a pass. At the police station, sometimes people singing and making noise, is to is to and all that. Mm. Then came, there were three airplanes that came. There were three. The one was red in color. They were coming, flying over us, coming down and going up. Now people were ululating, like women were also involved now. Small children were there, mm -hmm. shouting, is there to but others were throwing their caps up and all that, you see now. People, it was a jolly mood and everybody was happy. Sadly, the chanting of freedom songs and slogans was to be short-lived. Next thing, you see people were arranging, this police were arranging. Then people were shouting, oh, they are scaring us off. They are trying to scare us and all that. Mm. And then minute, one just put up his hand. Then the bullets went. Da, 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 da. Da, 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 So others at the back, they were shouting, ah, they are scaring us. This one went to move out. They can't. They were shot. Then other people started to see hey, this blood, started to run around. There was a noise of all that shouting. When, after 15 minutes, they stopped. And it rained for f just at the time. For 15 minutes, heavy rain washing the blood. Next thing, they came in ambulances, even from Binoni, Boxback. They came in, same time with the ones from Frenachen, meaning this thing was pre-planned. After almost 18 years into the democratic dispensation, Sharpville still remains a township only remembered when Human Rights Day is around the corner. Mostly in Sharpville, is still the same. The life is still the same. You can also judge the roads if you move around to see. They have not, they are not being tarred, there's nothing. It's only big streets where there are mostly transport is going, taxis and all that. But usually around Sharville, it seems it's a long old place, dilapidated, it's been left just like that. Mr. Makete was only 17 years old at the time of the Sharville massacre. 52 years later, he takes us back to a place where history was to be written. Salvation Army Church was still standing in 1960. It was, from there it was open space. This, the other buildings were not here, except those cafes. The post office was not, also not here. It was open space for everybody. Even these houses at the back of us, they were, they were not here. So people were also lying here after the shooting. There were bodies lying around here until until next at the other end of the Salvation Army Church. All over this place area here, there were a lot of people standing. You find that some of them fell at that in that house at the corner there in the street here. There were bodies lying all over here, going down. Even at that other end, there were bodies lying there. The memorial precinct just off CSO Road is well kept neatly trimmed with flowing fountains. But what about the rest of the township, where potholed, graveled streets remain unchanged? Is Sharpville only good enough for the 21st of March? Dumiso Mashaba, SABC News, Sharpville.